all good Bitcoin mining rigs, or at least ones I build, start with a donor computer to get the sheet metal uh, plate that the motherboard uh, mounts off of. This is a uh, mini ATX case, uh, old Dell, and that'll be fine. Uh, it'll hang off about four inches. Better than a waste basket, I always say. And uh, if you have any full ATX cases, use those as I do. So I'm just going to drill out all the rivets and leave the mount for the power supply. Remove all of this and all the plastic, and I'll show you what it looks like. There's the uh, part, all we need from the uh, old case. This is the uh, sort of power supply mounts. Um, motherboard mounts to these little holes here. Keep the screws from the old one. And next we're going to make a PVC case to surround it and to hold the cards. Alright, here's all my pipe fittings and uh, I have a video showing how to make a case for Bitcoin mining rigs or Litecoin mining rigs out of PVC pipe. This is all you need is a couple Y's and a couple 90's and some pipe. So uh, if you want to watch that video, it's in the description. Alright, so uh, let's make the case. Here's the finished product. This can accommodate up to uh, six cards evenly spaced about two inches apart with uh, uh, card risers is what I use. I just added the metal and what I will do next is I'll take metal tapping screws drill through this into the pipe and mount the um, sheet metal and then we'll be ready to start assembling the rig. I add this little extra piece right here for uh, the fifth card. Um, I'm using a motherboard that can support five cards and uh, I'm gonna get a, fi a fifth card later and I decided to mount the card down here rather than up here with all the other cards. Just say it's an experiment. Anyway that's how your uh, case should look. I have a video showing how to make a case like that. It's pretty simple. It's 24 inches this way, 11 inches this way. Um, yeah. All right. So here's the build. It's a, the motherboard is an ASRock 970 Extreme 4 motherboard. Uh, I've used those a lot. They're good. Have onboard switches. I have here four um, Sapphire HD 787s power supply. Now this is overkill. I actually had this left over from another build. It's a Thunderbolt um, 1200 watt. And so that's why I'm probably going to upgrade uh, one more video card and make this a five uh, card rig or a six card rig later down the road when I get another motherboard. Uh, just a simple AMD Sampron processor. I got this on cell. And so, uh, yeah. Well, that didn't sound actually pretty good. But yeah. And then I uh, stick a RAM. Nothing hard and then uh, these are my PCI extenders these are the 1x ones they're about 17 bucks when I started building rigs they were about five so I got two of those and then uh, two um, 16 pin ones and here's one that's actually out of the package it's a used one as you can see they actually do wear out over time but yeah so I'm gonna start by assembling the motherboard putting it on the uh, case in the case and then the power supply I have the motherboard mounted and I was going to show the back of the uh, Thunderbolt is it's uh, one of those new modular style where you can actually plug the cables in and of course it comes with a prefler of cables but uh, I can't stress enough for the 78 uh, 70s you need um, two cables two uh, six pin cables um, going to each card so that's you know eight cables all, all together so you almost have to get a better power supply even though you don't need it power wise a lot of times just to handle the you know have enough cables but this is going to be more enough I can even run some fans so I'm about to install the processor being very careful not to touch the pins or to even get oil in there I'm actually wear a glove you um, seat it there's a key so you don't you know put it in backwards or anything like that so I'm going to do that next all the GPUs are hooked up with their uh, double six plugs each. So we're all ready to go on that. I just need to install a hard drive or use a zip drive as a hard drive, but I happen to have a couple old SATA hard drives, so work out perfectly. Got room for one more card there. I have one. Just gotta get out of that rig. All my cables are ran carefully not to kink them too much and uh, you know I got like three inches here four inches here and probably about two inches between that one and that one all right so the rig is running I uh, installed Windows 7 on it and uh, 
Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I installed the drivers for the uh, display drivers, um, Catalyst Control Center. And so this is the easy build because it's Windows. Linux is a little bit, <laughs> a lot harder. Uh, okay, so a lot of people are asking, what's the easiest way to compile, you know, um, CG Miner? Well, here it is. All right, this is going to be in the description, so you can just copy and paste this. And uh, basically, I'll show it to you the script. You know, and there, that's the URL for my pool I use. And then uh, U for user. I left that blank. Blank one. P, blank one, yeah, so you guys can fill that in. Aggression 12, and now on this video card, uh, G is 2, it has uh, two GPUs. So um, on 7850s or and below, just leave one there, not a two. And so I put 250 watts, um, yeah, thread currency, that's pretty common, is 8, 800 and, uh, or 8,000. 192 it's pretty common okay you take all that so you got all that go to your CG miner all right here's the easy part you can click your CG miner all right here is CG miner right here you're gonna click property no, no, no you're gonna click send to right here create desktop shortcut that's what you do and uh, I already have one and so then you're going to go to the desktop shortcut and you're going to push properties and so here is the target target location this is where all that is I put that after the uh, .exe one space and then that whole line there alright now that's the easy way to compile CG miner there's no compiling a bat folder or anything like that and you just got you know it's not going to be you could probably compile it better but uh, anyway Let's see if it works. First run. Give it a second. There we go. Everything's mining. Personalize. Alright. So I have it on no screensaver. I'll push that. Yeah. Change power settings over here. Alright. Change when, uh, what the turn off, uh, choose when to turn off the display. And we're going to choose never. And now we're going to choose when to put the computer to sleep. And we're going to choose never. And save changes. And you'll be mining for the next three months without a problem. I personally don't. I don't know. People like to bad off uh, Windows 7. I have a Linux rig. And it takes. It took a lot longer to set it up. It's. Um, yeah. This is very easy. <laughs> you know, I can be up and running after I get the parts home in less than an hour. I could be mining Bitcoin, well not Bitcoin, but Dogcoin, Litecoin, Feathercoin, Worldcoin, PPC coin. Ron Paul coin is actually pretty nice. I'm coming again to Ron Paul, Ron Paul coin more. But anyway, that's how you build a rig. The easy way. And all together, I'm doing about 1.3 mega hash. Uh, close to I can get out of these cards about 1.5 uh, with the right tuning doing just about um, 1 point uh, 335 on each card and so I need to uh, tune them a little bit I'm not I'm not over aggressive with the intensity I don't want to fry anything I'd rather cards work for me for a long time than work really good for one week so yeah so the rigs doing good mining and uh, overall cost I uh, got the cards on sale I paid 740 with tax for all four cards the power supply was actually really uh, overpriced because but it was for another build it's for a uh, nine uh, seventy um, nine seventy build I'm going to do so I just had it laying around anyway and so it was actually two hundred dollar power supply motherboard's about a hundred so yeah overall probably just about eleven hundred dollars for everything a little bit under that's my newer build, Bitcoin mining rig. So, I would like to re-elaborate. Elaborate. Um, once you've built the rig and it's running, and you know it's going to run for you know a long time without any problems, you go ahead and just unplug the screen. You don't need a screen on it, and uh, you don't need the VHA null plugs anymore with CG Miner. So you're good.